Alright guys, I am back and after a very long setup process, I had a little trouble setting up the uh, PlayStation. After a very long setup session, it is up and running. I'm going to be testing it a little bit later to see if I can run into any other issues. But basically what was happening was... Um, when I plugged it in, I can't even explain it because it was so odd. Um, so I plugged in the PlayStation 4 when I first started it up. Uh, like, you know, HDMI port and everything. When I first started it up, all I saw was a black screen and heard the audio. And the audio kept looping. And so I'm like, okay. So I unplugged um, my HDMI cable. And I'll skip the details just to get to the important part. Basically, I had to um, start the PlayStation 4 and then plug in the HDMI cable to get it to boot up the first time. Why I had to do that, I don't know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I was dealing with that for, uh, I think, two hours it is now. Um, nah, nah, it wasn't that long. It was like an hour. But anyways, it is set up now. Got the DualShock 4 here. I'm gonna keep testing it to see if that issue reoccurs. And then, <laughs> oddly enough, I ran into more issues as soon as that happened. When I went here, I went to video settings, video playback settings, and it said this. The output was displaying at 1080p 24 hertz. And I'm like, wait, that's not right. And I didn't see an option to change it. So I kept going through the different display ports on the device, on the monitor itself, and on the PlayStation 4 itself. I ended up going, sorry, that's my main computer, um, which is also connected and turned on right now. Anyways, <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, so I kept going through the different display ports on the monitor thinking like maybe this isn't the HDMI 2.0 part. And when I finally got to the HDMI, like I realized that the first one was correct. I was just looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at video playback settings. Keep in mind, this is my first PS4, so this is why this happened. Anyways, I went to video output settings. It was set to automatic. I changed it to 2160 by 2160p RGB. And uh, that's unrecommended by default. The HDR is on automatic. I don't have HDMI because this is a monitor, which doesn't support it. Pretty much no monitor supported it. So basically, the first thing you're going to do when you get to video output settings is click. And make sure you are, in fact, at 4K. So we are at 4K, 60 hertz, RGB. HDR not supported because, again, this is the monitor. And the audio is actually coming from the monitor itself, not my uh, dual speakers, and it sounds pretty good. Anyways, it is HDCP 2.2. That is our, that was our main concern here. When now, let me let me show you what happened when I first did this. When I finally went through all the trouble, all the troubleshooting, I got to the screen and it said HDCP 2 not supported. And it, um, yeah, it said HTC right here actually, HTCP, and then it was like 1.4 not supported or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it said. So I was like, oh my gosh, they lied to us. Qnix doesn't have HTCP 2.2. So I was like, uh, uh, this isn't gonna work. So I went to um, I went to system. I went to system. Not actually here. Basically, I just enabled this, or sorry, I disabled it. It was on by default, and um, after it got disabled, I went back and I re-enabled it, and it fixed it, and now it is properly displaying as um, HDCP 2.2, which is what it needs to be at. And I want to test this, obviously. Um, I'm hoping that my issues were 
uh, fixed with the numerous troubleshooting I did. Um, let me, I got plenty of HDMI cables. Let me see how many I got over here. So if it happens again, I'm just going to switch it out. Um, yeah, here's an HDMI cable. Is it? No, that might be a display port. Uh, yeah, I think that's a display port actually. Hang on. Yeah, here it is. Here's an HDMI. But I don't know if this is 2.0. No, that's it. What the heck? Why do I have three display port cables? Okay, that's another time. I'm. Well, the real question is, where did my... Um, and the real question is, where did my HDMI cables just go? I will find them later, but right now we're going to do a 4K video test. We're going to do Netflix. Oh my gosh, I'm typing on my keyboard. I'm so used to getting on the keyboard, I reach for my mouse. And, uh, <laughs> got to use this now. Because I did, uh, I upgraded to the Netflix 4K HD, 4K Ultra HD plan. Uh, this is a really nice controller. I'm, I didn't really have a reason to get the PlayStation 4 before now because I got the um, monitor now. But, alright, let's, I want to get a Marvel movie that I know is, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a movie, but um, I I want something that's ultra HD. Um, yep, here we go. Luke Cage Ultra HD 4K. It can display there. Black Mirror. This looks interesting. I'm not. I'm not sure what it is. I just saw this when I um. Did this anyways let's see if it works this is really nice like no I want to go to season one I, I don't know what's going on yet okay so season one's here and it looks like it is displaying in ultra 40 uh, ultra high definition 4k The reflection you're seeing right there is my keyboard. I think this is all I need for this. Uh, I just wanted to confirm that you can indeed watch ultra high definition uh, 4K here. And right now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I'm not actually connected to um Ethernet because I have to go to Walmart and buy one actually. Right now I'm gonna download some games. I'm gonna download until dawn. I'm gonna download um No, actually I showed y'all this in the last video, but I got this here waiting on me. Uncharted 4. I just can't wait to play this.